What's up, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Yo, 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 you already know I'm back with another one on Me TV 1.0. And if you're new to the channel, hit that sub and show some love. And if you've been here, like and share if you can, man. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the likes, man. I appreciate all the comments, man. Keep showing love, man. And I'm going to keep dropping these bangers and I'm going to keep dropping these videos. Once again, I appreciate all the love. But today, we got a crazy, crazy story. And this story was written by the North Carolina Beat. And this story happened in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. The guy that you see in the picture name is Dennis Harvey. He's a local referee for schools and parks and different recreational systems, as well as a general manager for the Dollar General that's in the local town and the local community. But he basically is down bad because he tried to clap cheeks of an 18-year-old boy. And he tried to do it on a slick. But he eventually got caught up. And due to the fact this young man is legally 18, you know what I'm saying, it was a nothing really legal that was done about it so far. And this is a fairly new story. But I, I don't get it. You're a grown man. You trying to seduce little boys. This crazy. Y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband. Basically, that's what you have to do nowadays because these men have become very, very predatory. It makes no sense. So the situation goes like this. One day in the Rocky Mountain, North Carolina uh, area, a, a woman goes in and asks for an application for her son. Her son needs to work at a job before he go off to college. This is summer break. And things like that and he was eventually uh called for this interview after waiting a while i guess he went on vacation but when she approached the man the man had already been familiar with her son and she found that very very odd so just think about it you never introduce your son to this man and you never met this man but some kind of way, he's familiar with your son. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Definitely, definitely BS. Due to the fact that if you this grown and, and just by looking at him, he looks like he's close to 40, maybe over 40 from what I'm suspecting. You are preying on these young boys. Why are you doing this, dude? When well, you got plenty people that's willing to do this not only that he sent text messages and i'll read you all the text message to show you the type of conversations he was having and where it was going because it the way he was going about it yeah he's very very predatory it's no telling how many times he did this it don't tell it how many times he seduced this the different excuse me different individuals it's crazy so check this out he hit, he hit the little man up after work hours. This was allegedly around one something or two something in the morning, right? And he hit him up. What you doing, man? The young man was like, nothing much, chilling with my girl. What about you? He was like, okay, never mind. Little, little homie was like, why? What's up? He like, no, never mind. Was on money, was on a money move, but it's cool. And he was like, shit, if it's a money move, I might need to be involved in that move. And he hit back like, you plan, you be on some BS. That's red flag number one. You answer like a woman. Uh, you be plan, you plan. You plan, you be on BS. Nah, I don't even like that off the rip. I've been trying to put money in your pocket. Like, hold on, dude. This this seems very weird in any in any estimation of anybody you know who's 
texting another man. And see, I know I've been chopping and screwing the story up just a little bit, but that's my bad. He actually, after the interview, he actually hired him. And when he hired the young man, he gave the young man $2 more, making him the highest paid employee inside of the store. So this is why he was able to get the number and also uh, text him after hours. But before he even got the number, he reached out to his mother trying to pretend like he was a young lady that went to school with the young man and needed his number. He texted the mother phone. That's this crazy. I'll get more into that in a minute. But let me finish reading these text messages, though. For some reason, he said, I have no reason to lie. For some reason, he said that. But we're going to just start. Literally, I pay for company. My problem is I don't trust people that will run their mouth. But it's cool. No worries. I will I will uh, fall back, bro. My bad. And he, the little man was like, company as in chill with you. Like, hang out. Because I hang out with you for free, my guy. Or like other stuff, question marks. If you hang out tonight and chill, you will be paid if you don't run your mouth. Easy money for real. If not, understand no hard feeling. I just don't, I would, I just don't want to be clueless. I want to know what I'm going exactly to do. He said, "It uh, come chill, vibe, and get paid. It's simple. This is why it's so important for fathers to be around. And if the father can't be around, this is the reason why parents have to be extra vigilant. Just because it's a boy or a young man, ask him questions. Talk to him. Hold an open dialogue because you got many men out here that's perpetrating straight men just to get at these little boys. So this is another text message. And I probably got it out of order. He was like, and bet. On, on some cool shit, right? Because I got to be back here by 4.30 or 5. And the adult in the situation, Mr. Dennis Harvey, he was like, to be honest, I'm just bored. I want to lay up and I will pay for whatever. You can't be back first thing in the morning. So this is what the young man says. I mean, if you want to chill, play the game and shit like that, but Land up, I don't know. I ain't comfortable with all that shit like that. You feel me? So this is uh Mr. Harvey. Okay, I don't have no game, but it's cool. I was just trying to put money in your pocket. So this is the young man. Yeah, I feel you, but land up, that's a little odd to me. Land up with another man, not not in me. I ain't gay. Or nothing like that. Nothing against you or anything. But that's just not how I am. This is wild. Y'all need to have your kids, have your wife, and have your husband. So he proceeded to say, okay, just easy money. But okay, it's actually 2K. But you good. But okay, bro. Good night. I appreciate the opportunity for the job and stuff. I don't think I'm going to work at Dollar General no more. You, You just... You just feel with my comf comfortability no more. I don't know what he was trying to say, but he basically was saying that he wasn't comfortable no more. And ended the job, uh, ended his uh, situation at the family dollar, at the local dollar general, I meant to say. And this, just think about it, bro. This is a young man. Probably a handsome, good-looking young man. Ready to live his life. And these go to show you how people be sick in the mind. Ready to uh, take the innocence or the, or the... How could I say? That's the best way I could say it. Take the innocence from these individuals and just fuck with their mind. Because a lot of times, from my experience, these gay dudes just think you one, two, three drinks away from being gay. They think you one, two, three bribes away from being gay. Nah, everybody not like that. But you'll be surprised how many other men and young men fall for this who are impressionable and don't really know what they get themselves into. And before you know it, they done ruined their whole life 
whole reputation and they got to live a whole different life all from going down the wrong road by a manipulative older man, older male who should be trying to show them and teach them regardless of what sexuality it is, they should still have the mental makeup and wherewithal to have discipline within themselves to not corrupt the younger generation. And that's one big gripe I got about the the older black generation, the middle black generation, and the younger black generation. It just we just can't connect because the older guys set the precedent of not being the leaders and the stand up guys that they need to be. But that's another story for another story. You feel what I'm saying? But Drop down in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. If you made it this far, hit that sub and show some love. Like and share if you care, man. You already know. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all the love. I'll be back with another one. You already know on MeTV 1.0. You heard?